Here is a first look at Tesla's massive Model Y stamping machine in Gigafactory, Shanghai. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please look around our channel, subscribe to our channel, and like this video to show your appreciation of our friends who bring these stories to you. Uh, and uh, let's get started. Recent images from Tesla's Gigafactory, Shanghai complex suggest that the installation of the Made in China Model Y stamping press is near completion. The photos bode really well for the progress of the Shanghai-based factory as it suggests that the trial production runs of the Model Y could indeed begin sooner than expected, perhaps as early as the end of this year. Yesterday, I had another report about Giga Shanghai, and I said that it looks everything points to a possible early start of the production of Giga Shanghai's Model Y, uh, not next year, which is planned, but maybe as early as this year. This is going to be a phenomenal year for Tesla, friends, because things are going also very fast at Giga Berlin, and earlier suggestions also said that Giga Berlin may be open to some type of business by the end of this year. So the pictures from Giga Shanghai feature a massive stamping press that looks all but completely set up. One end of the massive machines also includes a banner which reads something in Chinese and I don't know what it says, which roughly translates to good fortune for finishing the installation of Giga Shanghai stamping line. I personally don't believe in, in good luck or good fortune and um, so so, but that's what it reads. Based on the company's quarter four 2019 update letter, the stamping area in Gigafactory Shanghai is located at the tail end of the phase one building where the Model 3 is being built. Considering that the Model Y factory mirrors the design of the Model 3 factory that precedes it, it seems safe to speculate that the recently installed stamping machine was set up in the tail end of the Phase 2A building as well, writes uh, Simon uh, Alvarez at, uh, at Tesla Radi. This would, he continues, this would be quite an interesting setup seeing as the Model 3 factory and the Model Y factory appear to be inked together through their stamping area. Areas. Recent drone flyovers have shown that this may be the case since a sky bridge now seems to be visible between the phase 1 and phase 2A building. The presentation of this structure opens a lot of speculation about Tesla's production plans for China. Speaking of drivers, flyovers, you're also about to see um, the recent flyover of my friend Vuva, who has been going to Giga Shanghai regularly and sending us good reports from there. Thank you, Vuva, for that. It should be also noted that while the Model 3 and Model Y share about 75% of their components, the two vehicles are manufactured quite differently. An extensive teardown of an early production Model 3 and Model Y from noted auto veteran Sandy Monroe provide, proved that with the analysis showing that the all-electric crossover has far more manufacturing efficiencies than its sedan sibling. With the installation of the Model Y factory stamping press in mind, as well as the presence of a sky bridge between the two production facilities in the Giga Shanghai complex, it appears that Tesla is now only months away from starting trial production run of the Model Y for the Chinese market. But this time round, the refinement of the vehicle's manufacturing process will likely be smoother, especially since that the Model 3 and Model Y facilities are seemingly being designed to share some of their operations. Well, friends, let me know what you think about these developments at Giga Shanghai and about this video. Please continue watching as you're seeing our friend Vuva's video who has been taken at I think a day or two ago from Giga Shanghai, and you can see how things are progressing there. In the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel after looking around our channel. If you like it, join our community. Please also like this video to show your appreciation of Vuva's work and uh, Simon's work, from which I've quoted. And um, have a wonderful day. God bless you. Take good care of each other. And I would greatly appreciate if you would please share our videos on your social media channels. That helps us tremendously. God bless you and take good care of each other. See you soon in our next video later today.